Hi, Ryan Smith at Better Life Carolinas. I thought we might wrap up our multi-session discussion about declining testosterone levels in men and what we call andropause or andro decline. And now focus on how that might relate to cognition, mental health. We know that a strong correlation exists between low testosterone levels and memory decline later in life, including Alzheimer's disease. We also know that there was a correlation between testosterone levels and certain cognitive abilities, uh, spatial cognition, mathematical reasoning, Studies have shown that a decline in testosterone levels is predictive of a decline in visual and verbal memory. And we know from animal models that there is a correlation between amyloid beta protein accumulation and testosterone levels. Amyloid beta protein is the protein that appears to build up in Alzheimer's disease within the brain. It's not clear if there's a causal relationship between amyloid accumulation and Alzheimer's or if it's something that is a manifestation of the disease. But regardless, we do know that increases in amyloid beta are associated with Alzheimer's. And we see an additional correlation with amyloid beta and testosterone in animal models. Lastly, we know that men generally develop Alzheimer's disease more slowly than women. And that's likely related to the difference in hormone decline between men and women. In menopause, women experience a fairly dramatic and stark decrease in hormones. Whereas with men, like we've discussed, it's a much more gradual, persistent decline. And because of that difference, men seem to develop Alzheimer's disease more slowly, but they do. And unfortunately, when they do, the mortality risk seems to be greater in men. A number of studies have shown a reversal of mild cognitive impairment in elderly men given testosterone therapy. Another study showed that men who have low testosterone levels demonstrated an improvement in spatial cognition and verbal fluency once they were given testosterone replacement. A study of seniors without dementia found that they demonstrated fewer working errors once on testosterone replacement. And lastly, a more recent study demonstrated improved overall global cognition in the setting of optimal testosterone replacement. Now, what's important to note is that the story of cognition and cognitive decline related to hormones is not isolated solely to testosterone. There are a lot of other hormones that play a role in cognition for men. Progesterone, pregnenolone, melatonin, all of these are other hormones that have been demonstrated to decline with age and they each have a unique role to play in cognition. These are all hormones that we evaluate and often supplement or replace. Lastly, it's important to bring up the topic of estrogen. We associate estrogen as a female hormone, but it plays a vital role for men too. Men derive their estrogen from the conversion of testosterone. And it's fairly clear that the neuroprotective benefits that women experience from estrogen apply to men too. So maintaining an adequate level of testosterone is a way to ensure proper estrogen levels, and that likely plays a big role in how testosterone benefits cognition and reduces the risk for memory loss and cognitive decline. So to put all of this into perspective, we've talked about the decline in testosterone that men experience, what we often refer to as andropause, but which I like to call andro decline. And we've talked about how that can relate to metabolic disease risk, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and now cognition and memory loss and Alzheimer's disease. So the takeaway point here is that there are very few chronic diseases that we're concerned about that aren't touched in some way by hormone levels. And when we discuss the decline in testosterone level in men, it goes way beyond 
the sexual dysfunction that can result. And testosterone levels play an important, vital role in helping us avoid a lot of significant diseases associated with aging. And if we want to live a more robust, healthier, enjoyable life, our home hormone levels are a key to that. So thanks again for your time.